In this course, we'll study Booleans and conditions in Faro. There are two Booleans objects, true and false. True is the only instance of the class true. False is the only instance of the class false. We'll send messages to these objects to set Boolean operations, or alternative structures such as if true, if false, etc. We'll study this. In the first example of this slide, you send the message AND, a binary operator, to the object false. You pass it a parameter, which is all this. It's an expression between parentheses. One error, crazy. This expression triggers an error. You can see the evaluation of this whole expression triggers an error. Why? Because the operand has also been evaluated in this Boolean expression. The operand has been evaluated. Hence the mistake. If you want to get the lazy version of the Boolean operators, you must use the method AND of the class Boolean. This method takes a block as a parameter. Blocks start with open bracket and end with close bracket. They contain expressions, but the definition of a block doesn't trigger the execution of its expressions. For now, these expressions are not evaluated. It is only if the first operand is true or false that the block passed as a parameter is evaluated. In the second example, you have false and a block. It returns false without evaluating the block passed as a parameter. It is a typical lazy operator, but built using blocks. In Faro, conditionals, if, false, while, etc., are always messages sent to Booleans or blocks. Let's take another example, the message if true, if false, the typical alternative of any programming language. But in Faro, it's actually a message. I can send the message if true, if false to a Boolean object. This expression returns a Boolean. I pass two blocks as parameters of this message. One block is evaluated if the receiver Boolean is true, the other if the receiver is false. Careful, the message if true, if false is heavily used by Faro. It's at the heart of the system. It's so important that it's been heavily optimized to be efficient without slowing down the entire system. Let's talk again about Boolean implementation in Faro. It's extremely elegant. The objects true and false are both instances of the classes true and false which inherit the class Boolean. Each of these classes define a set of methods to return the expected behavior. We'll give you more information about this elegant implementation in a further lesson. Back to the message if true, if false. There are different versions of these messages. There's a version with only if true, with a block as a parameter to return only the first part of the alternative. The message if true, if false takes two blocks to return an alternative when the Boolean is true or false. There are several examples here. This only sends the message if true, with only one block to execute if the expression is true. In this example, there's one block to execute, this one if the receiver Boolean is true, that one if it is false. There are two different messages. It's the same with if false when it comes to the classes Boolean, true, and false. There are other types of messages available to express conditions. For instance, there's if empty, if not empty, which I can send to a collection. With if empty, I pass a block. The block is evaluated only if the receiver collection is or isn't empty. If not empty, is the opposite condition. If the collection isn't empty, then you execute the block. But there's an extra problem. This block takes an argument as a parameter, which is the non-empty collection. The collection might be the result of a complex computation. You can query once more for the collection. If the collection isn't empty, it is passed as the block's parameter. 
it can be used in the expressions of the block. In this session, we saw Booleans are normal objects in Faro and instances of the classes true and false, which inherit Booleans. You can send them messages. These messages define all the constructions of alternatives or of possible conditions in Faro. In other languages, it would rather be structures in the compiler.